I'm Greg Ellick, and I'm the instructor for the Digital Media Arts Program. For juniors, we start the year off with um, photographic composition. Um, so that's really getting you the basics of, you know, how to expose a camera, how to edit a picture, um, the basic fundamentals of composition and stuff like that. And then you move into video production, right, which you're kind of taking all those same techniques and applying them to video. Um, and then you'll get into video editing and like a little bit of special effects work as well. So some program highlights for the seniors are we take a lot of those basic fundamentals and we kind of stretch them out a little bit more. So um, we'll do like a lot of media broadcasting that year, um, getting into more like interviews and some practical stuff. The second semester for the seniors um, is a bit more filmmaking heavy, right? So we'll do some more narrative work. Um, and again, it's applying all those basic fundamentals from the junior year um, in a more creative and fun way. As far as job opportunities for this program goes, um, one big thing that I know a lot of students do while they're here and also out of here is just freelance work in general. Um, that's one big thing we talk about, right? Because nowadays especially, people are always looking for video work or photography. Um, I'm constantly getting calls from people just asking, you know, do you have any students that would want to come shoot a wedding for us? So a lot of stuff like that, right? Um, there's also a lot of being so close to Cleveland. There's a lot of studios in Cleveland that are always looking for more photographers, um, video editors, stuff like that. Um, I personally have a pretty good relationship with Playhouse Square, so there's a decent amount of work coming back and forth um, there as well. As far as post-secondary opportunities go, the nice thing about this class is when you leave here, you'll really have all the resources you need to kind of start your professional career in digital media arts. But then on the flip side, right, if you want to kind of go into a post-secondary education and kind of expand your horizons a little bit, you've gotten all the building blocks here where you can go take that and maybe you can do something a little bit more specific. So maybe you could go major in photography or graphic design or film and then you'll kind of have a basis in everything here to make that transition even easier. Students in this program will have opportunities for summer internships as well. So that could be something as simple as maybe you go out and work with a studio and just kind of do some basic tasks for them such as just helping out the photographers there and actually um, doing some like Excel spreadsheet kind of stuff. Or I've also seen summer internships where it's something as intensive as maybe a company just needs some more pictures or you know an accounting firm needs some video work for them and they'll actually just bring on an intern to do all of that for them. Hi, my name is Shannon Yoder. I am a senior at LCDAVS. My program is Digital Media Arts. What drew me to this program? Uh, at the beginning I thought it was going to be for my, more, uh, more of the drawings but um, once I got here I found out it was more on camera based. I was like, oh, I just think something new. So, and I like the I like the programs, I like the editing, the Photoshop and all. What I got out of this program was um, new friends, new their mindset is different than mine than from them at home school. I'll say it kinda of opened me up. Uh, so one really great thing about this program is, you know, with the internet taking off twenty twenty and all this different technology and you know our phones basically being computers now. Um, everyone needs video work or photography and design work. So when you take a class like this, it's really opening an infinite amount of doors for you.